Normally, when it comes to credibility, people have their own definition of what it means to be credible. But in the startup world, and if you want to reduce your anxiety as a speaker, back to our original topic, you need to build your credibility and never stop building your credibility until the day you die. So for me, credibility has these four legs. The first one is the obvious one, which is an expertise or a specialty. You have to have some specialty or expertise to be able to right, have some credibility. Second is you need trustworthiness. You need to build trustworthiness because as an expert, that doesn't mean I trust you. So trustworthiness is something that you can build for the rest of your life. It's how you look. It's how you talk. It's what you wear. It's how you answer questions. It's how you shake somebody's hand. It's the total sum of who you are. Are you a trustworthy individual today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day? And when I see you in, uh, on the TV and when I see you in, writ, in, in the written word, are you trustworthy? Do you continue to sound trustworthy or do you break that trust, right? Does your site look trustworthy? Does your LinkedIn look trustworthy? All of that builds trustworthiness. So you see how you can continue building that for the rest of your life and maintaining it. Third leg, because I know we don't have a lot of time. The third leg is to be in service to others, to be helpful. If you're doing your business for the right reasons, or you're doing whatever you're doing for the right reasons, which is to help others, to make this a better place to live, you'll add more to your credibility, much more. And it's not just for the money, right? So we have the first three. Should I quiz you? So the first three of the four legs of credibility, you have specialty right. in an area. Right. You have the complete package of trust. Beautiful. The third one was is it credibility. No, it's the that's four the, legs that's of credibility. The, that's the. It's the in service to others. In service it's to, to be others. helpful. It's to be doing what you're doing for the right reasons. Like I want to help you to help you get better. I don't want to help you so I can brag that I helped you. So that's the wrong reason. The right reason is to help you so that you get what you want out of life, right? And if I get to brag later on, okay, great. That's a nice little sidebar. But, but doing it for the right reasons adds to your credibility. Okay, now the fourth. And this is the piece that usually is missing or people seem to leave it at home or in the car. And that is enthusiasm. When you pile enthusiasm on top of your expertise or specialty and being a totally trustworthy, believable person, on top of that, you really care? Whew. You throw enthusiasm on top of that, you, you're a great speaker. You, you can persuade people in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Work on your credibility in those four areas, you become more persuasive literally overnight. Cheers.